Alright guys, this is going to be a quick tutorial on remote starter bypass modules and how to program them. In another video, we'll go through some other stuff. So first, you're going to need a web link updater. This is basically an interface module between the bypass module and your computer in order to download firmware onto it. Next, you're going to need a bypass module. Now, when updating these or downloading the firmware, you can only use Internet Explorer. If you try to use any other type of web browser, you'll have an error code that pops up like this one. Number three, you have to create an account. If you don't create an account, you won't be able to flash your modules. Number four, you can log in, then you can click on flash. You may need to download an additional file in order to flash your module. This is typical if you don't have those files on your computer. And no, they're not viruses, so they're not going to do anything bad to your computer. Now, in order to see what type of bypass module you can use for your vehicle, you can go and just select your vehicle, make, model, year, and trim. As you see, I picked a 2012 Kia Rio standard key, sedan, four-cylinder automatic. I deselect all the remote starters, and I just select the bypass modules themselves. You can compare both of them. With the TB, you're going to actually need to plug in a few extra wires compared to the ALCA, so I just prefer the ALCA over the rest. Next, I'm going to log in. You gotta make sure that your bypass module is plugged into your computer or else it won't detect it. As you see, I got an ALCA. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna pick my 2012 Kia Rio standard key four door automatic now. Next, it's going to ask you what type of uh, install that you're doing. You're going to do a remote starter. Click on the next. Select your brand. They have pretty much all the brands out there. This is just for test purposes, so I'm picking whichever one. <coughs> when using an ALCA, try to use a DBI, DBI wire. That's going to be the black. Uh, it's going to have a black and red on connection onto it. And you just click on flash. There are additional features that you can program onto it, but if the vehicle is just pretty much standard and all you want is unlock and lock and trunk remote start, then don't mess around with the features unless the install guide actually tells you to, t uh, to disable or enable specific things. Then you click on your install guide and it'll bring you to other stuff. I'll be going through all this into a different video, but just to give you an idea of what it looks like, you got to go down. You got to pick your vehicle and pick your install type. Our Rio is a standard key automatic manual transmission, 2012 2017, and install type 12. If you scroll all the way up, you'll see install type. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And I will be posting other videos shortly.